Are you okay? I just didn't think it would still be here. Um, Mom, it... Well, it is. <laughs> and it looks to be surprisingly well-preserved. It's... Well, it's not just like I remember it. <laughs> A little more... Rundown? Weathered. Than the last time I was here. But I guess I am too. Wanna start looking around? Yeah. Is this, uh... Is this a trailer home? It's a mobile home. What did I just say? They're not the same thing. A trailer home hooks up to the back of a truck and can be towed around. You can take it from place to place. A mobile home arrives on a trailer, like, towed by a big truck. Go on. <sighs> a mobile home doesn't have wheels. Well, why didn't you just say that? Well, I, I will admit it took me a moment to untangle the nuances. Would you look at this? A postcard from the mystery man. What was he running from? The cops? For what? Tax evasion. That's surprisingly mundane. It's how they got Al Capone. Fair enough. Nightshade? It was because he could only come out at night. Or stay in the shade, as I remember it. Okay, well that's spooky as hell. August was just a kid. She needed someone to talk to. Did it have to be a freaky, imaginary friend who lurked in the shadows? I mean, what about you or Grandma Helen? Well, I was a teenager. I don't think I was the most, I don't know, compassionate at that age. I had my own problems. If I had a little sister, and Dad died, 
I'd be there for her to talk to. It's different. You don't know what having a little sister is like. Are you trying to say you were justified in not helping your little sister when she was grieving after her father died? I helped. I did. I mean, we were all there for each other, but... I could have used more help, too. I don't think I had anything left to give. So August made a new friend for herself. One who would always listen. Oh, look at this big pink guy. <laughs> Kurt won that for me. At the fair. Kurt? We... well... We met at the drive-in diner. <gasps> you had a summer fling? <laughs> I... well... Was he cute? I thought he was very handsome. And he rode a motorcycle. Oh my god, a bad boy? It... Well, honestly, I fell for him pretty hard that summer. It was pretty, uh... Cool? On his motorcycle? <laughs> he was very... romantic. Oh, no. <laughs> no, not like that. Well, a little like that. Oh, no. So, what happened? Did you break up with him, or...? Ugh, I don't remember. It was just a summer thing, it doesn't really matter. Wow. Did I hit a nerve? Hey, maybe we should keep looking around for more relevant things? Sheesh, what happened here? Looks like the wall gave way. Water damage, I guess. What is this thing? It's the water heater. Oh, that, that's why you said water damage. I get it, I'm following along. Well, it's not going anywhere now. Can we climb over it? No! God, look at all that rusty metal. I'm up on my tetanus shots, aren't I? We're not risking it. Well, what's that thingy back there? Hmm, it's a maintenance hatch? For getting down into the crawl space under the house. Is there any other way into the crawl space? I think there's a way to get in from around the back. Why are you acting so excited? Well, if we could get into the crawl space, we could climb back up out of that hatch and get over to that side of the mobile home to find more stuff. I'm not sure why you're using the plural here. And also, I really want to see if there's any cool, creepy stuff under there. Like a skeleton. Listen, you can give it a peek if you want, but there is no way I'm crawling under there with you. You're on your own. Hey, no problem. More cool, creepy stuff for me.
These have seen better days. Yeah, it's a shame they've gotten so moth-eaten. Yeah, this taxidermy must have been beautiful when it was new. Did Grandpa shoot these? Mm-hmm. Well, the pheasant. I shot the deer. Mom! That's... That's kind of awesome. You were... my age? When you shot it? Younger. <laughs> Our father took us hunting during the summers when we'd stay out here. Well, mostly just me. I always did all right with hunting. I could kind of, uh, what's the word? Compartmentalize it? I don't think August could, though. I only saw her fire a gun once. A little twenty-two hunting rifle. She didn't want to, but my dad wouldn't let her give up. He said we weren't heading back until August took her shot. So she aimed and fired and missed. The deer ran off, and August cried all the way home. That was August's first and last hunting trip. Our father didn't have much patience for that kind of, uh... He had a real thing for, you know, not letting your emotions get in the way. Maybe it's good to let your emotions get in the way sometimes. Maybe they're trying to tell you something. What's in here? That's just August's old room. Let's try and find some other way in. So, this is how we get into the crawl space? You keep saying we. So... This is how intrepid people with an innate sense of curiosity get into the crawl space? Among other personality traits, yes. Fine then, I'll go it alone. You're probably too frail to get in here anyway. Those creaky knees of yours. Wow. Okay, into the filthy crawl space you go. See you on the other side. Ooh, this is good. Mom's gotta see this. Mom, I found a way in. Hang on, I'll open the back door. Hey, Mom? I found something. Look, look! Another letter. He wanted to live with Grandma on a boat? Maybe we can figure out where the boat was by looking at the photo. It looks like... well... It looks like a boat. A houseboat. Hmm. Can't see much of the surrounding area. It's near... trees? Maybe we can look for some of those. A place in Canada with trees. That narrows it down.
Now, what is this? During the summers when we'd come here, I had a summer job as a waitress at the drive-in. On roller skates? Like in the movies? Yeah, I guess. And those movies were based on reality, you know. You are cute! Oh, I don't know. Oh, please, Mom, stop. You were cute then, and you're, uh, hot mom now. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> According to the boys at school, you are my hot mom. You didn't know about this? What? No! I am not. Oh yeah, no, it's, it's great. It's great having all the boys at school talking about how hot your mom is. It's great. Regardless, this photo of you is real neat, and I think we should keep it. Sure. Why not? Precious stone? What is this? Advice for rocks? No, Dingus, that message was for me. Oh, right. <sighs> My mother was against me and Kurt being together from the start. To be fair, I would go off to who knows where with him and sometimes not come back till the morning. Now I understand how worried she must have been as a mother. <gasps> you were a bad kid? Do you ever thank your lucky stars I'm not a bad kid? I don't know. You and Francine can stay up pretty too late. <laughs> Playing The Sims and eating pizza rolls. <laughs> yeah, you kids are wild these days. Go mechanics. Oh, man. I forgot that August had this. I let her keep it when I moved into the van. But August didn't even go to Fort State. She almost did. We were both so excited to, growing up. Don't you remember Grandma talking about how much she loved it? I remember her talking about how sexist it was. Yeah, well, everything was sexist back then. But we're a Ford State family. You'll be a triple legacy. I don't even know if I want to go to college. What do you mean you don't know if you want to go to college? Of course you're going. I can make my own choices. What kind of choice is that? To be broke? I'm not gonna be broke. I've been working really hard on my design business. And August didn't go to college. August was lucky. She's talented, but she's also lucky. When I'm 18... Look, I, I don't want to talk about this anymore. It's not a discussion. Fine. Oh my god, Aunt August. I have so many questions. Uh, I don't know if I agree with this advice. This doesn't sound very... Millie to me. Millie was just a character, honey. I, I know, but didn't she usually give advice Grandma would have given? How could you tell a little kid that getting picked on was their own fault? I don't know if that's what she meant. It's right here. She's like, if people are mean to you, you should change. What, the bullies are right? She never told me that kind of thing when girls were being mean to me at school. She just told me to be myself. I guess... Well, maybe if Mother could have gone back and given August the advice she gave you instead, she would have. I hope so. I'd recognize that penmanship anywhere. 
This piece was clearly done by an accomplished artist. A cartographic prodigy? Do you think there'd be anything there to dig up that was left behind? It'd be like a time capsule. Maybe she was gonna come back for it later. It was her first investment. <laughs> she got started early. I don't know. Let's just go see what it is. This looks like it's for a car or something. Oh, that's the key to my old van out front. August was always stealing the keys so she could get in there and mess with my stuff. Well, well. Look who's gonna be messing with your stuff now. No video games back then, I guess. Poor, deprived kids. Oh, how fun! Wait, did they not get to use these? Well, howdy there. What's your name, buddy? What's in here? That was my mom and dad's room. Well, just my mom's room last we were here. Well, dang it, that door stuck. I think, look, we could twist the latch open if, I think I could get this open with a flathead screwdriver. Awesome, where's one of those? Um, oh, I had a little toolkit in the glove box of my van. Nice. Do you remember, well, did it seem like Grandma wanted to... Leave my father? I mean, hmm. I guess when I was around your age, I started wondering why they were together in the first place. They didn't seem to... Make sense together? Yeah. Huh. I remember when I started wondering that about you and Dad. Why you were together. You're both so different. Did you used to have more in common? Um, well, when you're together at first, everything about each other is new. It can cover up a lot of things. But when you get used to each other, that's when it can be hard. But sometimes, you know, by that point, it's too late. Too late? Because you're already married? Mm-hmm. I know you said that you didn't know if you were going to get married, but if you do, just don't rush into it. So you wish you'd never married Dad? You wish you hadn't gotten married in the first place, and that I wasn't around. <laughs> I'm sure it would have made your life a lot easier. Honey, that's not how it is. It's not as simple as that, and it's not because of you. There's, there's a lot more to it. We'll talk about it someday. Wins someday. Not today. Then when? <sighs> Not today. Poor kid. Did she get made fun of a lot? At school and stuff? I think she got picked on when she was little. But she toughened up. I guess right around this age, when we came back from our last summer trip. What changed? 
I don't know. Oh, it's everything I'd imagined. It's got an ugly lamp, an acoustic guitar, <laughs> a concerning scent of mold? I mean, what do you expect? It's been under this carport for 30 years. That's why I'm not coming inside. Okay, I'll just look around and get out. It is kind of gross in here. You're just looking for the screwdriver, right? Right. Don't get too nosy, all right? All right, all right. But look at all this stuff. Wow. Brutal, Lori. Brutal. But... Kind of fair. Wow. Mom was even into theater back then. Huh. Holy shit. Ah, <sighs> oh, alas, not so groovy anymore. How is the stuff? Cool as you'd hoped? Well... I found, um... This. You guys didn't just drift apart at the end of the summer, did you? No. I came to work at the diner one night, and they said someone had left a note for me. And it was this stupid thing. <laughs> That sucks, Mom. I just felt like such an idiot. I put all my energy into plans, planning how we'd be able to stay together, planning how our life was going to be, planning how he'd be the answer for how I was going to be okay. And then one day, this. I don't know if I've ever cried as much as I did for the week after I got this. He seems like an asshole. Hey, language. I'm 
Sorry. In this case, it's okay. Well, in that case... What an asshole! Ass! Butt! Crap! <laughs> All right, enough. <laughs> There was a lesson I should have learned that summer. You can't rely on other people. What? If you put your trust in other people, if you expect them to be there for you, one day they won't be. So what, you shouldn't have friends or relationships? Well, no, I just mean you can care about other people, but you have to be ready for them to go away and be okay on your own when they do. Are you... You're making it sound like... Are you saying Dad left you? I thought you said you both agreed to get divorced. <clears throat> well, either way, he's not here, is he? Mom, what happened? With you and Dad splitting up? He always makes it sound like... Like you wanted him to leave, but... He does? I mean, I... If he's telling you I wanted this, I... <sighs> See? This is why you need to be okay on your own. If you're fine on your own, when they leave, you don't have to feel this way. Remember that. Well... I've got the screwdriver. Good. That's good. Ah, door, we meet again, but this time, I'm ready for you. Hey, good work. Thanks, Mom. Oh, my mom loved this desk. I remember when she brought it home from the flea market. Jeez, how many desks did Grandma have? <sighs> uh, kind of a lot, I guess. I mean, she was a writer. She liked to move around. Well, let's see what she was hiding in here. Ugh, it's locked. Hmm. This gives me an idea. The little key? From Grandma's diary? <gasps> right! What's that? What? I'm sorry. What? What does he mean? When he says those are his kids? Uh, I... W was Grandpa Leo n not your real dad? I... Could that have been why he was trying to run away with you in August and Grandma Helen? I can't even imagine. Look, look, Mom. Look. This one. This note. It has a return address. Pierre Lautrec, Box 9, Hop to Lake, Carndale, Ontario. We should go check it out. What? No. No? But- Tess, we already drove however many hours up here and dug around getting dirty and all this stuff. 
I'm not driving us to Canada based on some return address from over 30 years ago. We have the rest of the house to pack up and I still need to call the electric company to schedule our end of the service, which I probably should have done sooner and- Mom, stop. You're going to pass up a trip to Canada? Land of the polite, home of the reasonable? We could see a moose. I've never seen a moose. Sixteen years, nary a moose. I've lived a life of deprivation, mother. Oh, you poor thing. Mom, all jokes aside... Yes, please. If we don't do this now, if we don't go up there and at least try to find out who this guy really was, who your father really was... When are we ever going to do it? We're right here, a stone's throw away, on the cusp of discovery. The cusp of moose country. I wasn't going to say it, but yeah, that too. You're just hoping we'll find that hidden treasure. Come on! If we do track down this address, we might not find anything. But we could find out who your father really was. Who we really are. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Okay, listen. Yes. Hey, I I'm not doing this because of your sterling rhetorical skills. You didn't win this one. I just happen to agree with you. I do want to know who my mother might have been mixed up with, and, and why she never told me about it, and who my real father is. And if we go check out this address, we might find nothing. But we might find something. So, if one more day of driving is all it takes to find out one way or the other... Then why not, right? Right. Glad I could convince you. No, you just happened to be right. Exactly. Glad you came around to see things my way in the end. Okay. Should we get going? It's getting dark. Yeah. Let's find somewhere to stay for the night. We'll look up directions. Get back on the road in the morning. Hotel night. We're getting room service. Thank you, Mom. Best weekend ever. But we didn't find that hidden fortune you were so excited about. Yeah. Maybe it's on the other side of the border. <laughs> Maybe. Come on, let's get out of here. It's out there. Somewhere. That buried bootlegger gold. Uh-huh. Bigfoot, too, I hear. Do you think he found the gold already? What makes you so sure Bigfoot's a he? Oh, I love it. Equal opportunity cryptids. Very forward-thinking. It's 2003, Tess. Anyone can be a Bigfoot. 